The sad truth is that too many children in today's world suffer appalling abuse. They deserve protection, and it is their right. Ten years ago today, the Convention on the Rights of the Child was strengthened to protect children from all forms of violence. Two optional protocols provide a moral and legal shield for children vulnerable to prostitution and child pornography, pornography and those caught up in armed conflict. Two-thirds of all member states have endorsed these instruments. <clears throat> on this, uh, on this uh, 10th anniversary of the adoption, I urge all countries to ratify them within the next two years. These are far more than dry words on a piece of diplomatic paper. They represent a promise that we have made to the most vulnerable children around the world. Children who were born into the most extreme forms of poverty and despair. Children living in countries torn apart by violent conflicts. Children forced into unimaginable servitude by adults who regard them not as human lives to be nurtured, but as objects to be used for unspeakable purposes. There is an opportunity to address the situation of the family, of the community, and there is also a support for a change in behavior and perception of the value of the child in that context, so that the sale of children does not become clandestine just because there is some control, but there is a real decision from within the family and the community not to perpetuate this practice. Now, what um, we, we have been trying to do is at least to ensure uh, to, uh, that the government forces um, uh, are not implicated in any of this uh, initially as the first step. And as you know, that as, they, as, they are, uh, as the new, um, as the armed groups get integrated into the regular army, we are hearing reports of former commanders and others continuing to recruit children and have children within now the framework of the National Army. And this is of great concern to us.